transcript for Hurricane 8 makes landfall as a Category 1 storm overnight in Mississippi and we begin tonight with Hurricane 8. After taking lives in Central America, speeding across the Gulf, then slamming ashore not once but twice. First, striking Louisiana, then hitting Biloxi, Mississippi, with 85 mph winds, part of the city underwater. And the wind spawning tornado warnings and water spouts. This one in Orange Beach, Alabama. And tonight, the remnants have Nate drenching the south and heading towards the northeast. Here's Steve Asensami. Reporter 1000 p.m. local time, the winds picked up. After hours of wondering where this storm was, Hurricane Nate arrived on the Gulf Coast with 30-foot waves and winds near 85 miles an hour. By midnight, New Orleans knew it was safe, and they were lifting their curfew. But in Biloxi, this was an emergency. This is by far the strongest winds we've seen all night. The eye wall is right here, we're about to enter the center of the storm. 12.30 a.m., it's high tide. And now we're seeing the storm surge from the forecasts. The parking decks of the casinos, the Beau Rivage, the Hard Rock Cafe and the Golden Nugget were all flooded. Cars were bouncing around in five feet of seawater. The storm surge has completely engulfed the first floor here. Reporter there were 300 guests at the Golden Nugget. Today the casino is open. We got remediation in place. The folks will have the seat rock tended to soon. Well get these escalators back and running. Reporter 100 AM. The storm surge crossed U.S. Highway 90, and now Alabama was seeing the storm surge too. Earlier large water spat was spotted in Orange Beach. Firefighters had to rescue a family of four from a home that was taking on water. ABC's Victor Aquendo was in Birmingham this morning. You can see rain bouncing up the street, and on the other side, look at those flags blowing around in the wind. Reporter the administrator of FEMA tonight says that the string of recent storms hitting the U.S. has been tough on the agency. We're strained. You know, bottom line is, is that over, nearly 85% of my entire agency is deployed right now. We're still working massive issues in Harvey, Irma as well as the issues in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, and now this one. Reporter crews are out tonight clearing roads. The cleanup is on. And Steve joins us live from Gulfport, Mississippi. We just heard the FEMA director mention how fair stretched thin. And there is still a lot of time left in this hurricane season. Reporter that's right. We're at the end of the height of the hurricane season, but we've hurricanes in November, some of them major. It's a good thing this one wasn't worse. Tom thank you. And Rob Marciano is here, and where is Nate headed next going north and east, and we have a tornado threat. A couple of reports of tornadoes with damage across South Carolina. And the western part of that state, still under the gun over the next couple of hours as it spins up over Kentucky and the Appalachians. Eventually it ends up in the northeast. And tomorrow, the rain picks up, gusty as well. Kind of a stormy day. A lot of the, the eastern third of the country getting a piece of Nate the next 36 to 48 hours. Rob, thank you. Now to a stunning move in an NFL game. This transcript has been automatically generated and may not be 100% accurate.